Hello friends, welcome again to another session on mathematics and uh, continuing with our uh, series of lectures. Today we are going to start a new series and it is called CERT. So CERT is going to be a very important and integral part of your journey in mathematics all through your mathematical career. Okay, so it is very important to understand what exactly it is and uh, you know, uh, what are the different applications and how to do multiple operations on surge okay so let's start with the definition so what's the definition of a surge a surge is arithmetical number any root of so it says any root of any arithmetical number which cannot be exactly determined okay this is what the definition is now what does this mean it means that so let us say root of 2 root of 2 is uh, definitely a real number but not a rational number but root root 2 cannot be expressed in terms of a recurring decimal right or a terminating decimal so its decimal is non-terminating decimal representation non-terminating as well as non-repeating so it's basically a irrational number right so all such roots of any number which cannot be exactly determined is called a third okay so examples are given root of 7 you cannot really find out what is the value of root 7 similarly root of 8 th fifth root of 4 fourth root of 7 and root of 7.5 all these are examples of surge okay so all these are examples of surge now uh, so you can also have surge like root of x typically root of x root of y these are also considered to be thirds because you don't know what is the value of x and y it may end up being a rational number but typically we consider root of x root of y or root of any such variable as a third right so what i mean is let us say if x is 4 then obviously it's not a third its value is 2 which is a rational number then in that case in one unique case root of x will not be considered as a third but for you know for our you know usual uh, purposes we consider root x root y or root of x plus y or root of x y all these are examples of surge okay now now first property is a surge may sometimes be expressed as the product of a rational number and uh, another surge okay so if you have a surge if you have a surge this can be expressed as a rational number let us say p by q something a rational number and multiplied by another third okay so this is what is the first property we are going to learn so let's see an example so this type of surge for example root of 12 there is nothing outside root it's called a complete third or a pure third okay now root 12 if you see can be expressed as under root 2 square into 3 12 is 2 square into 3 so hence Using the laws of exponents what we have learned, 2 square into 3 whole to the power half will be the next step. And then you can separate the powers like this and eventually you will get 2 to the power 2 into half is 2 and root 3 is like this, right? So if you see, there is a rational factor and there is a irrational factor, isn't it? So this one is irrational part and this one is rational. So a complete third that was a pure third was converted into a product of a rational and an irrational factor but it it will not happen every time it happens only sometimes right how for example look at root 13 13 is a prime number so it cannot be expressed as a product of a rational and an irrational third similarly root 15 is root 3 into root 5 again you cannot express it as a rational and an irrational third rational factor and an irrational third but examples like root 18 you can express is that is it as 3 root 2 root of 24 can be expressed as 2 root 6 root of 50 can be expressed as fifth root 2 okay here there could be another uh, examples also for example if i have fourth root of let us say 32 okay fourth root of 32 can be expressed as 2 to the power 4 into 2 whole to the power 1 upon 4 sorry i should not be putting this root sign it is 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 isn't it 1 upon 4 the same thing 32 can be expressed as 2 to the power 4 into 2 and whole to the power 1 by 4 so hence if you see it is nothing but 2 to the power 4 into 1 by 4 into 2 to the power 1 by 4 and what law I am using 
a b to the power m is equal to a to the power m times b to the power m correct so hence what will this be this will be nothing but 2 into fourth root of 2 which can be expressed as this right so here also you see you can you express this as a rational factor and an irrational third right so this is one property second property is you can express a rational factor and a third as a complete third, the reverse of whatever we did the, in the earlier part right for example if you have 5 root 3 you can express this as root of 5 square into root 3 and hence combining the roots you'll get root of 75 right so 5 root 3 is root 75 similarly 3 root 2 what is 3 root 2 root of 3 square is 3 into root 2 now since it is into so i can club the roots together and i'll get 18 mind you if it is it was root 3 square plus root 2 this will not be equal to root of 9 into 2 or rather even not equal to root of 9 plus 2 so be very very careful only when there is an into sign you can club the roots and you get this value okay 7 root 3 is under root 7 square into root 3 and hence 49 times 3 which is 147 root right so you can take uh, multiple such examples and uh, see how you can express a rational factor and a third as a complete third now this is an exercise which will be attached with this session so you can try them out so and uh, see whether you are able to solve all these problems so try as many as possible and more than the number of problems you will solve more you will be comfortable with these operations